They called them the December murders. And there were 13 men captured, tortured, killed. One of them was my father. So, and when that happened, uh, he was the minister of youth culture and sports at the time. No one could go back. They, the, the military burned down the radio station and all kinds of things happened. Uh, eventually, over time, the gentleman who led the coup kind of retreated and, you know, the family kind of came back and uh, rebuilt the station and did all those things. So now that same man, of course, who led the military coup is now the president. So it's a very sensitive topic amongst, amongst Surinamers who are older, you know, maybe 35 and older because they remember what happened in that time. I think what happened is that all that information when he was in power and, you know, it's, it's a democracy sort of. And they basically squashed all that information so that it's kind of washed away. So it's um, younger generations who voted for him. I think my impression is that they kind of looked at him heroically while the older generation remembers what actually happened, which there was nothing really heroic about it.